welcome to the game that is known by the intelligentsia as Shovel Stomp. Don't try this at home, by the way. The object of Shovel Stomp is to see how high you can get the ball in the air without being hit in the head by the shovel. Nothing so much fun has been around since the Lupercalia. Shovel Stomp is a great way to show why air sticks to the earth. What goes up must come down. Very simple. Potential energy at the top of the arc equals the kinetic energy at the bottom. At the bottom, the potential energy is zero. At the top, kinetic energy is zero. Kinetic energy at the bottom equals potential energy at the top. Here is the formula with kinetic energy m times v squared divided by 2 on the left and potential energy m times g times h on the right. The mass goes away on both sides. The height is determined by the velocity and acceleration of gravity only. A small particle will go as far as a large one. Here we are without the mass. Here is the height by itself on the right. Here the gravity acceleration part is worked out yielding 19.62 from 9.8 times 2. Here's the size of the ball, 0.216 meters. Here's the first of two adjacent frames to get the distance traveled between frames. Here is the next frame. Here is the distance measured. 0.348 meters. At 24 frames per second, there is 0.0416 seconds between frames. The ball went 0.38 meters in 0.0416 seconds for 8.37 meters per second. Plugging this in the formula, 8.37 squared divided by 19.61 gives 3.57 meters for the ball height. Here is the height measured from the picture, 3.66 meters. Given the crudity of the system, this is a great result. The question is, how far will an air molecule go before it falls back down? If we know the average speed of the molecules, we know that most of the air will be below this height. All we need is a good estimate of the speed to put in our equation. So, I say the 
the average speed of a molecule of air is the speed of sound. Because if it weren't the speed of sound, sound would have a different speed. Simple. So we stick with the speed of sound. Soundly is as soundly does. For it's sound to believe that the speed of sound is the speed of sound. So the speed of sound is 343 meters per second, basically. It does vary with temperature and such, but 343 is good enough for our estimated average speed. This isn't a paper for professional atmosphere research anyway. That would need more than a couple friends in a field stomping a shovel. If I put the 343 in the height formula already used, we get an average height of around 6 kilometers. If the theory is correct, we should see most of the atmosphere below 6 kilometers. That means the pressure should be less than half what it is at sea level. Another 6 kilometers to 12 kilometers should get the pressure to less than a quarter. The actual numbers I got from a calculator on engineeringtoolbox.com were 0.4 for the 6 kilometer height and 0.19 for the 12. 0.47 at 6 kilometers? Great. 0.19 at 12 kilometers? Stupendous. This is excellent agreement between the theory and the reality. So the reason air sticks to the earth is that what goes up must come down.
if you don't believe this, perhaps you should just go somewhere, sit down, smoke some dope, and chill. If you don't believe this, perhaps you should go, sit down, smoke some weed, and chill.